Next, I would like to talk about subsurface scattering. Subsurface scattering you will sometimes see written as SSS. There should be three S's there. Yes, SS is the organization of Nazis that police Germany during World War II. SSS is subsurface scattering. That's why you need the third S. Subsurface scattering is really cool. Here's how it works. There are some objects there that work kind of like a layer cake. So instead of having a single surface, what I've actually got is an upper surface, and then maybe a middle surface in here, and a bunch of individual layers. There are lots of surfaces that work like this. Human skin is the most notable one. When you have a layered surface like this, what happens is that photons come down and they hit the surface and some bounce off and then others pass through and maybe they reflect off of this layer, picking up whatever color this is, and maybe they pass through again, picking up whatever this color is. So with your skin, you know how when you hold a flashlight up to your skin, you can see red because of all the little blood vessels under your skin? That's the subsurface scattering happening and picking up this red dermal layer that's directly under the top layer. Subsurface scattering is really neat and it happens a lot in nature. So knowing how this effect works will help us to simulate it anytime we need to.